in this session we will going to learn how to set up salesforce as your service provider so before setting up salesforce as your service provider first of all you require some information from your identity provider so the first information that you require from your identity provider is the issuer id which is an unique identifier of the identity provider the second one is certificate which is an authentication certificate and the third one is assertion parameters so in previous session we discuss various saml flows in which i have mentioned that whenever there is an authentication from identity provider the identity provider sends a saml response to the service provider and that saml response contains a assertion file and that file contains user information that we already have discussed in previous sessions but in that file what is the location of that user information like you can say what is the location of the user id and what is the type of the user id whether it is a username or whether it is uh, you can say email address or whether it is like a federation id so what is the type of that user id so this is something you need to mention while you are setting up your service provider in the next session we will going to learn how to set up your identity provider or we can say we will see how to set up salesforce as your identity provider because in upcoming demo we will going to show two orgs in which one org will behave as your identity provider and the another salesforce org behaves as a service provider